Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another set of videos. Today I'm going to actually show you a fancy trick. Uh, something that will help you build configuration packages. And a lot of times, at least for myself, when I was learning Business Central, uh, I did not know anything about tables or pages. So as a, for a starter, uh, if you were to ask by your client for data migration or if you have more than one companies that you want to transfer information, especially like chart of accounts, and if the company is using chart of accounts as the intercompany chart of accounts, then uh, making configuration packages is very easy. And it's easy to import, export uh, all the information and data that you want uh, within a company and out of the company, or at least in the business central environment. So if you don't know how to make the configuration packages, I encourage you to actually go to one of my videos that in which I have actually shown you step by step how to create a configuration package. Today, I'm going to actually extend uh, you're learning on configuration packages and I'm going to show you a neat trick on uh, how you can utilize and enhance the ability of a configuration package. So if you were to go into configuration packages once again and I'll just give you a highlight of uh, how configuration packages look like so you simply search on configuration packages and as you can see there's only one configuration package at the moment I did not create any so I will not be creating but I'm going to show you a trick uh, that will help you uh, with these uh, configuration packages and if I were to create a new just to show you what I really mean by the trick these table IDs now, a lot of times uh, These table IDs are the ones that you need to know So if you don't know anything about tables or which table reflect what uh, This is where you can actually struggle to uh, include all the tables that actually matter in order to for this configuration package to actually work properly because if you miss out a table it will give you an error and you will most likely screw up your data for sure so if you were to go in and then you can search of course uh, but you know there's a limitation that if you don't know what to search for for instance you can't search for chart of accounts uh, because there's no such table as chart of accounts it's actually gl right so if you don't know something like that then it'd be very difficult for you to actually import. So for instance, GL account is the chart of accounts in Business Central. So the fancy trick uh, that I would like to share with you today uh, is this. So if you were to, uh, for instance, go into account schedules and you don't know uh, what the table is, uh, what this uh, table is called, and you wanna take this account schedule and import it into a different company, uh, within Business Central, there's a very easy way to do. So this question mark up here asks you for help. And if you go on help and support, click on inspect pages and data, a window opens up. And this is where you can find each and every table associated with Business Central. So in here, the account schedule name is 84. So table is 84. And if you go to configuration packages, when you're creating one, make sure that you type in 84 and then after that if you want to go in further detail of course account schedule is linked to uh, columns so if you go to edit column setup you will see that this table should change and column layout 334 so you also need to add 334 into your configuration package otherwise you will get an error because you will not have any columns associated with that uh, account schedule and it's the same thing uh, going into any other um, categories uh, within Business Central. So if I go to chart of accounts, you should see something like GL setup table 15. So let's uh, see, there we go. So GL account uh, 15. So this is a neat trick and it really helps, uh, especially as a functional consultant and especially as a new hands developer. So if you really don't know how to uh, call up table and you don't know exactly what the table is called then this neat trick really helps So hopefully that actually gives you a little bit more insight on how you can navigate business central and create packages that are relevant uh, for your client So I'll see you in the next video